Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, if you've been following the last few videos, you know that I'm going to have to beef up this uh, solar array out here to keep up with the 600 amp hour bank. And here's what we had tied in uh, as of right now. Uh, this is a, a 140 watt. 12, these are all 12 volt panels, by the way. This is a 140 watt. This is a 130 watt. And then these two here are 100 watts. The first two are polycrystalline cells. Last two are monocrystalline cells. Tying all that together doesn't make a difference, but what makes the big difference is the amount of voltage that these two panels are running. And when I added these on, the problem is that you cannot get your rated current or anywhere near it. So right here, this is a, a 470 watt array. The most I have ever seen it kicking out is about three and a quarter. And that's in pristine conditions where the, you know, the panels have slightly cooled off and the sun comes out nice and clear and it can even, uh, you know, increase the current with the panels being cool. But anyway, in this configuration, I'm not even reaching close to uh, what I should be able to. Just simply tying them together in parallel, you, you'll never get the 470 watts that they're rated at. Uh, like I said, the most I've ever seen is three and a quarter. Today, I've been watching it carefully to uh, review for this video. And even in perfect sun conditions today, I've been seeing about 230, so anywhere from 30 to 50% loss of what it should be. So, the problem is, as I said, it's these are different voltages. When you combine uh, different voltages together, you're going to get a loss of current. There are ways you could possibly tie in these two in series and then these two in parallel to uh, increase your current, but I'm not going to do that. I've been saving up for the past year and collecting these panels because I like them, because they're lightweight, easy to connect, easy to transport, everything about them. Uh, and they also produce usually more than they're rated at. I've seen 108, 110 watts coming off of these here. These are kind of some older dinosaurs. The reason I bought this one initially uh, when I first got out here was I went down to the solar store. It was the only panel available and I needed some solar. So I bought that one. Saved up my pennies, went back to get another one of those. Of course, never saw it again ever. And all they had was this one. So I went with that one. So anyway, fast forward many, many years. Uh, panels are much more available. Makes things much easier. And if you want to maximize your array, you need to have them be exact same panels, at least the exact same voltage and wattage. Voltage most crucial. Anytime you start varying, you're going to get a loss, and it can be significant. As I just explained, I've been not getting anywhere near uh, what I should be. So, okay, today's going to deconstruct this. Stick three more of these on here. See if I can't get up to uh, what I'm supposed to. Okay. Okay, so now it's the next day. I've got all the 100 watts tied together. And what I originally did was, uh, I'm already having to backtrack on what I said in the opening, that I wanted to tie these in uh, parallel. And I did do that using all of these branch connectors uh, to tie it in parallel. And then I went back and it was a nice sunny day. And I went back into the house and started reading what was coming in and was very disappointed to see that under full sun that this array in parallel was only still pushing out in full sun barely 300 watts. So that ended uh, uh, that 
and I went to researching a little bit more, and I have to say that uh, I was at first concerned that uh, all of these panels weren't exactly matched for voltage, and as it turns out, one of them is off just a little bit. This first one up here is uh, a, like 6.23 uh, amps, and uh excuse me this one up here was uh 6.2 amps 16.77 volts and then all the, the the rest of them all four of these were identical at 6.25 amps and 17 volts so i was thinking could just that little bit of discrepancy of that one affect the whole array so drastically and then I had to go back to researching a bit. And one of the things that um, I failed to mention that a lot of you, when I tell you this, will just be shaking your head at what was I thinking. I've got about a 60 foot run from this panel array uh, to the charge controller. So 60 feet running 10 gauge wire. So. Uh, whether I was running uh, in parallel with those mismatched panels at the beginning or with this one, that was my problem. So I've had to go, go back after finding my error, uh, so you don't have to. I tied these back in series. Uh, that's the first time for me tying in series, and I'll show you how that was. It was very easy to do. So here I am underneath the panels, and to time and series, all you have to do is, is go, you know, positive to negative for your entire string. Positive to negative, positive to negative, all the way down the string. And then what you end up with is uh, one negative at one end that's available, and one positive at this end and then all I had to do to make that reach the uh, cables going in was uh, get my MC4 connection kit and make a couple of three foot pieces and then I just tie that into those lines there that go straight into the charge controller and they're getting a burst of sun, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it's not really a great burst of sun, but what you can see is now 77 volts coming in, 19 amps, and I'll go down here to the watts, 255 watts. Now that's all I was ever seeing max, pretty much, when they were in parallel. Uh, it's operating uh, much better, and this isn't ideal sun conditions, but there's what it turns out to be. Now this controller can handle 100 amps. All those five panels tied in series end up to be, I mean, uh, 100 volts. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. That can handle 100 volts, and... Let me escape here. It's hard to hold this and press buttons. So, so there it is. You can see the 78 volts coming in. Uh, the top number is the bank, battery bank. And then there it is, 14 amps. Now, when I did get a true burst of real sun, I saw near 400 watts coming in. So this is what I was looking for. So my lesson learned was, for me, where I was experiencing an awful lot of loss was in the, the run of 10 gauge wire uh, to the charge controller, and that just mandated that I quit trying to hook them up in parallel and get them into series, where now um, I should get near full rated if I, I get a nice sustained 
a burst of sun, I'll be able to see that I'm doing that. But so far what I've seen, it looks like I'm doing that. I'm already seeing um, current that it exceeds anything I've got when I had those mix match panels. Now that 140 watt that I used to have over there and then the 130 next to it, uh, the 140 was a 17.7 uh, volt panel. Uh, the 130 was a 17.6. So it was enough of a difference that it, it was causing me some interference with the, the parallel hookup. But um, now I would be curious to know actually how much line loss was I getting just due to that as compared to the majority of the line loss, which is right there, was that, that long run of wire. So getting them in series makes this still work for what I've got going way more effectively. So got kind of a dark and wet day, it's raining off and on, but it's not fantastic sun coming through. Uh, I'll keep an eye on how things are working and I'll let you know if, if I run into any kind of problems or anything, but it already it's working. I figured out where I was getting the majority of loss uh, from the efficiency of the panels. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Aloha.